Hi, I'm Faith Bateman, and I work as a Customer Relationship Manager at Raytheon UK. Research and innovative solutions are our core business. Our people, in particular our engineers, are relentless in driving this forward. Every aspect of developing products and capabilities requires their imagination, ingenuity, and challenge to existing constraints. Through recruiting teams from all backgrounds, we gain the diversity of thought necessary to keep up with threats. Raytheon UK is committed to these principles, and our customers benefit from the inclusive nature of our diverse workforce. But we are never done. Our recruitment aims to attract the most talented individuals by taking applications from all walks of life and offering remote and flexible working so jobs are given based on merit and not geography. We have two cyber centres, one in Gloucester and the other one that I'm in today, our Salford Cyber Centre. It is here that we combine the latest emerging technologies with the expertise of over 100 skilled staff to address the national need for rapid cyber and digital solutions. Increasing the diversity and skills of our staff is a priority, which is why we are training apprentices and recruiting professionals from a variety of backgrounds and experiences to help keep us all secure. Hi, my name is Alex and I work as an apprentice software developer at Raytheon UK. I chose to do an apprenticeship at Raytheon because it's a large and reputable company and I thought it would be a great opportunity for me to learn from uh, lots of talented software developers, you know, learn from the best. If I had advice for anyone looking to do this apprenticeship, it would be that it's never too late to change course. I'm coming from the perspective of a career change, so I changed career kind of part way through and um, it's probably the best decision I've made, so don't be afraid, go for it. We aim to break down any barrier to those trying to enter cybersecurity, but we recognise that diversity is hard to achieve and non-traditional approaches to recruitment and partnering are needed. The UK has many unfilled vacancies in the cybersecurity professions, so connecting with a wide variety of organisations helps to communicate the opportunities to those that perhaps would not have previously considered a career path in cyber. We have partnered with organisations like the Women in Cyber Academy and provided mentors for black coders to help break down the barriers underrepresented groups may face when trying to get into the digital and cybersecurity sector. Our work with these grassroots organisations helps develop the green shoots of success that will eventually lead to a larger, more skilled and more diverse set of employees. One such initiative is the Cyber First Schools programme. Our business development executive, Raj Badiani, is leading our engagement on this in partnership with the National Cyber Security Centre. The UK is currently challenged by a huge skills gap, with around half of the 1.32 million businesses in the UK reporting a basic cyber skills shortage. The Cyber First for Schools programme is designed to plug this gap and turn our young people from creating TikToks to machine learning ops. It encourages collaboration between local schools, the NCSC, national and local companies, who share the aim of encouraging young people to engage with computer science. Here at Raytheon UK, we have partnered with the NCSC and a broad coalition of partners whose aim is to promote the Cyber First Schools programme in the Southwest, including Sinam, TechSpark Southwest, the Southwest Cyber Cluster, and Graphic Science. Together, we are growing the programme in the Southwest using tools like our Cyber First for Schools in a Box toolkit. From the very start of the process, where we evaluate application assessments from schools and colleges, to the day-to-day -day maintenance of the Cyber First for Schools website, and our e-mentoring support through schools and industry, we're striving to deliver an engaging program for our young people. So if you're a school or a college in the Southwest that is interested in getting involved, visit the NCSC website to find out more and get involved by signing up. As the business lead for cyber here at Raytheon UK, I prioritise an innovative and forward-thinking approach as to how we recruit and retain our staff. We consistently push innovation through both the technology we use and the way we attract our people. One of the ways we're investing in our people to prepare for the future of cyber is through our strategic research group. The SRG is a demonstration of Raytheon UK's core values of freedom and creativity. To position the business for the future, our best and brightest minds work on a variety of cyber challenges. Through giving our data scientists the creative license to pursue their key interests, we not only remain nimble and cutting edge as a business, but we also attract a diverse range of talent. There has never been a better time or reason for people to get involved with cybersecurity. And I would encourage all those who are tempted to get involved and see the vast opportunities and experiences that we can provide. Diversity is not just a buzzword. It's about more than just equality. 
It's about enhancing our cyber defences by giving us access to the widest possible range of problem-solving capabilities. We are taking the actions necessary to fuel our long-term success in this field. Through diversity, through investment, through passion, we are building together stronger, building together safer, building British cyber.